So I figured it'd just take a minute to kind of give a couple little tips on, on surfing and how it's done, what it's all about. The first thing with the rope is that you simply measure your rope by throwing it out so that the handle lands about right where the trough of that wake's gonna be. And then you leave it there. Once you get out, you don't have to pull yourself up on it. Just leave the handle right where the sweet spot of the wave is. And then that's where you need to be. Once you once the wave catches you and you pick it up, then you just throw the handle in and you keep surfing. Now, as far as for actually surfing, when you're on the board, what you want to do is you have to understand that the wave is what's pushing you. This is real surfing, as real as it gets. Now, it's not double overhead like it's chopu or nothing, but the wake wants to push you out away from the wake. So what you do is you constantly are edging back into the wave. So let's just take, for example, how we are right now. What I'm going to show you is I'll be sur I'm left foot forward, regular foot forward, so I'll be surfing toe side. So how I'll position my feet is where I've got more weight on the toe side edge of the board so that that edge is constantly digging back into the face of the wave and then you just pump it like you're on a normal wave. Now, the one last thing that I see a lot of people do that we'll address before I jump in is that a lot of people want to hang onto the rope like they're wakeboarding. It's surfing straight up. All you need the handle for is to get you up behind the boat. I'll show you a couple different tactics to do that and once you're up, Use your legs for your own balance and surf like you're really surfing. started on a little bit more of the uh, advanced side of things and actually paddling up behind the boat I'll show you how most people typically start with it and the one thing to pay attention to I'll just be laying back just like you'd normally get up on a wakeboard except the main difference is with this you pretty much put your hands almost straight up in front of you so it pulls you up over the board the reason for that is the board's a lot wider it's harder to sink so you got to get your body up over it but the thing to remember surfing's fun because it's easy typically easier than wakeboarding Okay. surfing behind a taiga is that you're really surfing. The pocket's a lot deeper than most any other boat out there. So you're not right up here tucked in on the platform with where all the fumes would be. 